The first deliveries of the Tesla Model Y SUV are scheduled on March 15th and everybody's very excited because don't forget, this is half a year earlier than what Tesla promised us originally, which hasn't really happened much before. Uh, and obviously, this is the most anticipated car that Tesla um, ever made. You know, Elon Musk mentioned this a year ago that he believes this is going to be the best seller. And you know what? I, I, I believe in it and I think a lot of people believe him. I think this is going to be a best selling Tesla ever and probably it will be this way for a while. However, we got some alarming news today that maybe there's a problem with demand. And I, I this is alarming for quite a few reasons. Um, a little too early to panic, I think. Uh, I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you some of the possible reasons for that. And uh, of course, as we talk about it, just wanna make sure that you know that uh, there's a viewer discretion is advised on this video. This video will contain some Tesla criticism, um, some disagreements with uh, Elon Musk, and uh, we will feature some technology from uh, non-Tesla brands. So if you if you are if you're afraid you might faint from some of this uh, content, please please step away from your computer. But if you're cool with this, as a matter of fact, uh, you are interested in daily electric car news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Click the subscribe button and of course the bell notification icon right next to it so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so let's talk about it. So here's where uh, here's what uh, uh, originally my concern was the fact that as you know when uh, Model Three got uh, unveiled, um, Elon started tweeting out the reservation count as it was growing and it was great, right? Now when uh, Tesla Cybertruck got unveiled, uh, same thing happened, right? Uh, but when Model Y got unveiled, nothing really happened, and this is why I was wondering all this time, like. What's wrong with the with the reservation count for the Model Y? Well, and, and you know this is also maybe a reason why uh, the Cybertruck reservations were at a hundred dollars only because remember the Model Y reservations were a thousand dollars, Model Three reservations were a thousand dollars. So what happened? Why is it only hundred dollars? It's in the same price range. Um, the answer could be is because they probably might have been unhappy. Uh, or with the reservation count for the Model Y. So that was kind of the first thing that uh, that was on my mind why why there might be a problem with the Model Y demand. But but here's what happened and uh, Electric reported today that um, there are some uh, Model Y reservation holders, specifically, you know, the top of the line Model Y uh, reservations with a seven seat configuration got this email today. As you can see, Tesla has encouraged them already this is only about a day after they send out the original invitation to uh to move forward with purchases is that that if they reconfigure their car uh to go from seven to five seater uh configuration and therefore save three thousand dollars which is a little unusual already right well, tesla usually tries to take as much money uh, from you as possible from for the you know to, re to recuperate the costs of of creating the new model which is just very reasonable, uh, but not only only they they're encouraging you to uh, not spend the extra three thousand dollars. They're encouraging you to downgrade it to five seat configuration, and that suggests that there might be a lower demand on on this car already, even though the production is not fully ramped up. Um, and and I think this is a problem. So um, obviously. This is uh, uh, this is what at least here in the United States and in Europe is very popular already the uh, the uh, compact crossover SUV. So uh, for Tesla to to have this car, which you know arguably a lot of people will believe the best um, compact SUV on the market, and you know very reasonable price under uh, forty thousand dollars. That's the starting price, which I think is very reasonable. Um, you know, if there's a low demand on that, that I, I would be a little concerned. So uh, let's talk about why that could be, including the competition. You know, when people were making reservations even a year ago, there wasn't as much competition as there is now. And you probably, you won't believe what, I, at least I think, the biggest competitor right now to the Tesla Model Y. As a matter of fact, before, before you move on with watching this video, Comment in the comment section, which car out there, electric car, do you think is the biggest competitor to the upcoming Tesla Model Y? All right, so before we talk about that, of course, a quick reminder uh, that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton and their all-electric SUV that's going to be in the market next year in the United States and Europe um, at the, what looks like a very reasonable $45,000 uh, starting price, 45,000 euros in Europe. Uh, it takes about a minute of your time to make your make a reservation. It doesn't cost anything. So go to the description of this video and reserve your Byton today.
All right, so let's talk about the competition here because, you know, it is it is considerable. Uh, and let's start with, of course, uh, Kia Near EV. Um, this is a car that, uh, despite the EPA rating, I believe, of mid to hundreds, can actually go about 300 miles. I uh, run a, a small uh, owner group on Facebook and, and I drove one myself and it can definitely easy go, easily go to 300 uh, uh, miles for one charge. It uh, costs after the incentives, even under $30,000, at least here in the United States. Uh, its sister brand, Hyundai, has uh, a very similar car, um, just a little bit uh, smaller. This is a Kona EV, uh, also similar pricing, uh, similar range. Um, and again, also, I think a pretty good looking car. Uh, the incentives are still intact and obviously state incentives and other countries incentives does bring this uh, price down, as, as you know, Tesla doesn't have the federal tax credit at this point in the United States. Now, normally I wouldn't mention as Chevy Bolt as being a competitor to Model Y, but those people who are looking for a deal, you know, you can get this Model Y, a model a Chevy Bolt at the very, very, very good discounted price. Um, it does have a range about 250 miles also. Um, and a lot, and despite the shape that I don't like, a lot of people are perfectly fine with this car. And, and uh, the inside tech is actually not bad at all. Uh, and again, just so you know, this is not what you would want to buy necessarily, but a lot of people might choose this car over the Model Y. Um, now, Jaguar I-Pace, um, you know, it also has struggled to sell in the United States. So they're selling at a lot of discounts and, you know, they're getting closer to about $50,000 starting price, which is you know, comfortably uh, equipped Model Y would go for. So that's a competitor, obviously, and it has all of the incentives still intact. Um, the upcoming uh, Ford Mustang Mach-E is not on the market yet, but a lot of people already made reservations. It took $500 to make reservations for this car. They're completely sold out from uh, pretty much into the next year. And this is another very comparable car to uh, the uh, Model Y. Now, not too many people know about this car, but this is a Volkswagen ID4 or ID uh, or, or ID Cross, as, as the original name was. Uh, this is coming to the market at the end of this year. Again, good-looking car, uh, and uh, a lot of people will 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 probably compare it to either Model 3 or Model Y. Uh, but it's on the market as well, and 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 Volkswagen, I think, will be pretty successful with it. Uh, of course, uh, we kind of forgot about this one, but you know, BMW is also going to have a compact SUV. Um, iX3 uh, coming to the United States, Europe, and China. I believe they're going to be exclusively making this in China, but nevertheless, that's another competitor uh, this year. And now, the last but not least, and I, I don't know if you guessed it right, but I believe that the biggest competitor to the Tesla Model Y will be a used Model X. Uh, use Model X even on Tesla's website, uh, the inventory website, uh, uh, with a warranty, with an extended warranty. You can find something for you know low 50s and definitely Craigslist and Auto Trader and so forth. Uh, you can you can find it around fifty thousand dollars, you know, which is again um, a, a much more complex and, and advanced car than the Model Y. Um, however, you know. Uh, um, well-equipped Model Y would be around the same price. Um, let me know in a, in a comment section, what do you guys think? Which competitor to Model Y do you think is uh, is uh, the biggest competitor? Now, with all, with all of this said, like obviously all of this competition is good, but also bad for Model Y. Um, there's a possibility that the reason, uh, you know, Tesla may be having a, a, a demand problem with Model Y is because right now they're obviously selling only the performance top of the line version of the Model Y. Now, I can see how the performance version of the Model 3 uh, was and is popular, but because it's not a four-door compact sedan, it is a sporty sedan. This is more of a, you know, SUV, and I think this is more for people who are, you know, buying it for their families or for for like kind of a off-roading uh, adventure lifestyle, if you will. They're not really that interested in the performance top of the line packages. So this could be just for the top of the line Model Y that, that the demand might be a lower than expected. But for the lower price, you know, in the 40s and 50s, I really would be absolutely shocked if it's still not the best seller, just like Elon Musk predicted. Let me know in the comment section if uh, if you're you know if you think this is alarming, and once again if if you think there are other competitors that some people might be more interested in. Other than that, see you guys next time, and remember to stay charged.